exterior walls are all square. It's going to be real easy to lay out our interior walls. I'll show you how I've laid out this closet. mark in terms of height up to our choice. Now what we're going to do is line up our wall with the mark we made on the floor. All the way along. In this case, because we're nice and tight, that should stay right there. Now we're going to screw it down. Now I'm going to screw the bottom plate first, and we'll worry about the top plate afterwards. Uh, get the bottom place on our mark so it's in position and then we'll worry about leveling the list of, leveling the list of our wall and uh, screwing up into the joists. So since this one is a doorway and as I mentioned we're going to be cutting out the bottom plate, I'm going to put more than one screw in each end even though this is a fairly narrow space because once we cut out that bottom plate, these two screws are what are holding together this piece of the wall to this floor and keeping it in place. So in this case, I'm going to put two screws on this end and two screws on that end. So now we got our walls framed up and we're ready to start fastening them to the exterior walls. Um, what I'm going to do here, and especially a trick I like to use when I'm working by myself, um, we've got to make sure that this wall here is level in both directions, this way and this way. Um, when I've got one set of hands, and assuming that it's going to be relatively in line with this other stud that I've got here, because that's the way I laid it out, I'm going to use this piece of blocking. And I'm going to take this piece of blocking, tack it on the back of my stud here, and that's going to give me a piece of blocking to use to make a nice, tight, secure corner. Now, what the benefit of that is, it allows me to fasten this really nice, give me a nice, strong corner. And then on the other side, it's going to give me a place to fasten my other stud where I've got to finish off my drywall. So now using a level, we're going to get this into the place where Got a nice good level fit and we're going to mark that space there and tack on our blocking. So now that we have our blocking, I've got this piece of 2x3 that I cut and we need to have a secure stud right here so that we can have somewhere to nail our drywall. We've got this inside face, we're going to need another face. So I'm going to take this 2x3, I don't need a full 2x4 stud, I'm going to fit that right up against my blocking. And it gives me a nice solid corner to finish off my drywall. So for this wall now, I'm going to address this a little bit differently. Since my top plate is going right across uh, my two joists on the top, I'm going to level this wall here both ways, that way and this way. And then I'm going to shoot a nail right uh, with my pneumatic nailer into the joist up above, straight up and down. So it gives it a little ways to expand up and down the nail as they get a little bit of thermal expansion over time and it's going to fix this wall in place with the joists on the top of the wall. Then I'm additionally going to put my blocking in the back here behind this stud so that when I add my blocking behind here, so I'm going to have my block here to be able to nail my other stud here for my outside drywall. So again we've got our blocking here, top, bottom, and middle. And now I'm going to take just a 2 by 3 because all I need is something to secure my drywall. I'm going to put our 2 by 3 stud here to make our corner for the drywall. So here's our finished closet that we've now framed in. You can see we've got both sides done. On this side here we've got our doorway, we've got our king stud and the jack stud and a header. Now we're in a basement and again this is not load bearing down here so doubling up on a header, um, even using studs on 16s, uh, it's not necessary but I like to place my studs on 16s, the cost is not substantially more, plus if I'm ever going to do anything down here or change anything, add things to the walls, add shelving, whatever, it's nice to have studs on every 16. Uh, hanging televisions or anything else like that. Finally, we've got our wall studs built in here, we've got our blocking that we've used back here between each side, and it's given us a very nice solid wall, and we've got a place now to finish our drywall on all sides. This side, this side, and of course the same on the other sides. So now you can see how the framing of this closet ends up at the end of the day. And then you can see here I've also hung the door on the closet. And I'll deal with how we hang doors and also electrical and things like that in other videos in this series later on.